All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome, future Ravens. Um, my name is Kiara, and I work in the Student Experience Office, um, along with my colleague Michaela, who will also be joining us later on today. Um, we're super excited to be here and to talk to you about the Student Experience Office, uh, what we offer for students, programs, um, as well as how we can support your transition coming to Carlton. So what is the Student Experience Office? What do we do? Who are we? Um, we are one of your first stops when coming to Carleton, um, or even before you come, which we'll, we'll explain later on. Uh, but our role is really to ensure new students have a smooth transition to university life, both personally, um, academically, and socially. Um, so we're here to support new students in their transition, as well as continue to support students throughout their whole degree through a whole variety of programming, leadership opportunities, engagement events, um, and really be able to enhance your student experience while you're here at Carleton. So what are our, some of our, our programs that we'll chat about today? Um, so we have orientation and transition support programs for new students. Um, and then throughout your degree, we also have uh, community engaged learning programs, mentorship programs. Uh, we have the Campus Activity Board, which provides engagement events. And we have leadership programs and opportunities for all students. And finally, we also oversee the co-curricular record. Um, so we'll dive deep into all these programs um, and what we do today, starting with our CU1001, Your Start to Student Life at Carleton. So this is a really, really neat program um, for new incoming students. So this is a program if you have accepted your offer, you're taking courses in September um, and really want to get a head start and feel comfortable and confident when starting your classes in September. Um, so what this is, it's a free online program for new students um, and it's hosted on CU Learn, which will be your course management system. Um, and it's based on the, the five success pillars that Carleton has. So we'll have modules based on academics, finances, campus life, wellness, and employability. Um, and these will all be videos, uh, presentations, some engagement pieces, and it covers everything that you need to know before you start at Carleton. So anything from what is your course syllabus? How do you purchase textbooks? Um, how do you get involved on campus? Any and all questions that you have, uh, this program is really able to help that transition um, and really support you before you start classes. Um, and in addition to those, those modules, we'll have live chat sessions every single week where you can connect with our student staff as well as departments on campus and really be able to call in, ask any questions that you have and connect um, every single week um, as you see fit. So the program itself launches on July 6th um, and it'll be open until September. And each week we'll have these chat sessions where you're able to, to connect with our, our community. Um, and, and get any of those questions that you want answered before September. Um, so any students that complete this program get to add it to their co-curricular record, uh, which you'll learn more about later on from Michaela. Um, but it's a really, really neat program. We highly encourage students to participate um, so that you're able to start your, your life here at Carleton um, very easily and have that smooth transition. So registration for this program is actually currently open. Uh, so you can register now uh, and then come July 6th, we'll send you an email once the course has been launched and you're able to complete it at your own pace. And again, it'll stay open until September um, and you can register anytime there as well. So next we'll talk about our fall orientation program. Um, and this is a program that helps student, students acclimate to life at Carleton. Um, both socially, culturally, and academically. Um, so this program takes place over the first week um, of courses, with courses starting uh, midweek um, from a Sunday to, to Friday. And there's three orientation programs that we offer. So we have a general orientation for all students in, in all programs. We have the SPROSH orientation for students in the SPROT School of Business, as well as NSHROSH for students who are in the Faculty of Engineering and Design. Um, so within those programs, uh, there's some really, really neat events that are able to um, really engage you with the Carleton community, get to meet peers in your program, outside of your program, um, from Canada or internationally, um, and really able to help that transition coming to Carleton. So some really popular past events that we've hosted are bingo nights, trivia, um, team competitions, see you at night, which is a whole variety of events that are offered. Um, and many, many more. So 
For this year's fall orientation program, I encourage you to stay up to date on our website uh, for more information about what this will look like for fall orientation 2020. And now we will chat about the Campus Activity Board, which is a super neat program for students um, throughout all, all their degree, all degrees, all years at Carleton. Uh, so it's free or discounted programming for students by students. So we have a team of student directors that put on these events um, about one to two a week for students um, who want to participate. You get to meet others, um, act as a study break and just have a little bit of fun and add to your experience here at Carleton. Um, so some really highlighted events that we have run in the past are epic bingo nights where you can win Beats headphones, TV, some really cool prizing. Um, we have Bob Ross paint nights, CU Cinema movie nights, arcade games, um, and many, many more. So about one to two a week that are that are offered and you can participate as much as you would like, um, but really provides an opportunity for you to engage with our Carlton community. And the last thing I will chat about before I pass it off to my colleague Michaela is our community engaged learning programs. Uh, so we have Campus to Community and Alternative Spring Break. Campus to Community partners with nonprofit organizations here in Ottawa for a half day or a full day of community engaged learning um, on a project identified by that partner. So students are able to uh, go out to the Ottawa community, meet with these nonprofits and really partake in a day of community engaged learning and reflection. Um, as well, the alternative spring break program is kind of the international version um, of this. Of It's a year long program that culminates with a week of community engaged learning either domestically or internationally in the February reading week. Um, and you work with communities on an identified project. Uh, in the past, this has been some environmental sustainability, access to education, um, food security. So themes vary from year to year. And to stay up to date with what these programs will look like for the 2020-2021 academic year, um, please visit our website and we'll be posting information about what this will look like. So now I'll pass it off to my colleague, Michaela, who will talk about some um, mentorship programs, leadership and transition support. Okay, thank you very much, Kiara. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to talk to all of you about is one of our mentoring programs called First Year Connections. First Year Connections, or FYC as we like to call it, uh, helps first year students, incoming students transition to the university life. You get matched with an upper year student, typically in a related academic field or sometimes by personal identifiers. And you're with this mentor for the first six weeks and they'll help you um, achieve both your personal and academic goals and successes. They're guided, you have meetings with them. Don't worry, it will still be happening despite classes being online this year. Uh, we're working closely with all of our mentors and I'm very excited to work with all of you. So some of our academic streams include child studies, engineering, uh, we have Sprott School of Business streams, while some of our personal identifiers can be first generation, uh, general stream, our new indigenous student stream, which we're very excited about, as well as our international student stream. So next, I'm going to be talking about one of our conferences, the SOAR Student Leadership Conference. So this is a conference that's held typically in the third week of January. Uh, it gets a lot of excitement and we bring together various student leaders from across campus for a day. Uh, it's meant to both challenge and inspire you. Uh, we have informative and interactive workshops that are put on by experts in our community, Carleton faculty and staff, as well as by students. Um, each year, we have a well-known keynote speaker deliver an address. So this past year, we had Tessa Virtue, uh, which was phenomenal. She delivered a wonderful address to kick us off right in the morning. And we also partner with CAV, which Kiara had been talking about, to put on an evening event, both for Carleton students and the wider Carleton community. So next up, we'll be talking about the co-curricular record. Uh, this is something Kiara had mentioned, and it's a way to track your involvement uh, both on campus and for some activities off campus. It's really meant as a, a holistic approach to our learning because we are encouraging students to be well-rounded. The co-curricular record 
is a way to keep track of your involvement, to understand uh, what you have done on campus and how it relates to potentially uh, jobs as well as graduate school. And it does offer a really great record and documentation to show potential employers as well as grad schools if that's something you're already thinking about. So Spirit Day uh, is one of the best days. Every Friday, if you wear any Carleton gear around campus, uh, you're eligible for different prizes, discounts, and incentives. So this year, for example, uh, we gave 15% off at Rodney's house on their gear just for wearing a Carlton shirt. Uh, we gave, it was 20% off of coffee at Rooster's Coffee House, uh, as well as 10% off at different food court locations. So to kind of wrap up our presentation, we want to encourage you, both Kiara and I, as well as all of us at the Student Experience Office, to check out and register for both C1001 and for First Year Connections. Uh, I believe the um, links have been put in the chat, but if you ever need any more information, carlton.ca slash SEO is the way to go if you have any questions. Um, so that pretty much wraps it up from us. On behalf of Kiara, myself, and the entire Student Experience Office, thank you for participating today. We will be sticking around to ask and or to answer any questions you have, so please ask away. And thank you so much for being with us today, and we look forward to working with you in a couple short months. <laughs>